Hello everyone, this is Esan. We will continue our work with the average program. And um, this time we are going to use a while loop to compute the average. Uh, a for loop is usually used when you know how many times you want to do something. Here in our case, we knew how many values we want to input. So that was defined by the number of values. However, there might be cases where you don't really know how many times you want to get the values and in such cases you want to use a special integer which says that you are out of values and unless and until you provide that special integer you sequentially ask for a new value and keep on updating your sum and you keep on doing this until you find that special value and when you find that special value you divide the sum by the number of values you got and uh, you compute the average so in such cases where you don't know how many times you want to do something what you do is you use a while loop and since we are computing the average uh, the basic code will be almost the same uh, so we are going to write a new average program which uses computes the average using a while loop and it takes a special value which is a n value which defines that you have no more values to provide and since we are doing this let's make it for use so average using a for loop average using a while loop so here what you change what you do is basically you write while the end value uh, sorry the value is not equal to end value you sum the value then you ask for the new value and since that you have to put a value over here since you already initialized the value as integer before the file loop you don't use the integer here so the idea is uh, the user provides an n value special n value and inside the program uh, function you initialize the sum to zero you ask the user for a value if the user provides the end value you don't enter if the user does not provide the end value you enter and you update the sum and then you ask for a new value and you check if the value is equal to the end value if it's not then you do the same thing again if it is then you stop and you divide by the number of values but the thing is here you don't still now you don't really know how many values you have got for that what you have to do is you initialize another variable called num values and you initialize it to zero initially and then as you get a new value you update this value by one so whenever you get a new value you update the previous value plus one or you can also do in a shortcut you just say plus plus so now what happens is initialize sum to zero initialize num of values to zero then you get one value then you um, check if the value is the end value if it is not uh, then uh, you sum it up and then you ask for another value and that's how it goes and you update the number of values <coughs> so uh, here in this case we can use so the special value that we want to put is minus one so if the user puts minus one in that case it doesn't work um, so it stops and gives you the answer so let's run this code so get value and calculate average it was not declared so I understand what happened so I use while here we run this and let's see uh, so let's give four five six seven and twelve our previous input and then in the next one I give minus one and the result is 6.5 let's try a new thing let's do two values 
So let's run it like 2 plus 3 plus minus 1, then it should be 2.5. It's 2.5. Now, <clears throat> it works with the while loop as well. And this is more flexible because now you can enter as many values as you, as you want without really knowing priori how many values you have. However, you see that this part of the code is repeated. So there is a repetition. Before the while loop, you have to repeat the thing one more time. So you have it here and then you also have one before. So this is something called, uh, this is a problem in software engineering. A lot of people does it, it's okay, but a nice code would be to have everything at once like only have it once here and in the next video we are going to show you about this problem i will uh, will learn how to fix this problem and write a elegant code uh, so that's it thanks